my dear Gemini, this is a love reading for you, where the person most on your mind will have their true thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We will also look into what they would tell you if they had the guts or respect to tell you the truth with my new deck, the Brutally Honest Oracle Cards. And in the end of this video, you will see a sneak peek of one of my members only Q&A videos. So stick around for that. And this reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Gemini, this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind are feeling for you and where their thoughts are at when it comes to you. It can often be a conflict between head and heart. And this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dare to tell you the truth to your face. For a cross watcher, this reading will most likely be about where the Gemini person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And I will use the Anima Mundi Tarot uh, for the readings part and uh, the Brutally Honest uh, Oracle cards for... Uh, uh, to, to reveal what they want to, what they would tell you if they tell, told you the truth. Uh, so uh, I will start shuffling your cards here. And when I open the deck, I see the Nine of Cups together with uh, Queen of Pentacles. So uh, it seems like this uh, person loves you a great deal. And um, uh, they see you as a kind of a stable point. Uh, in their life or um, like a treasure of some sort uh, with both the Pisces energy here and the Virgo Queen of Pentacles uh, energy. So it's like you are this um, uh, fruitful land or this um, pot of gold or something similar to that. But the nine here, it's connected to Hermit. Uh, so it's almost like they uh, love you or they treasure you or they're valuing you a little bit on a distance um, There's something going on. So I call the divine with love and light. Maybe they haven't just told you. Maybe they are shy with this Here we have the eight of swords uh, together with the nine of cups coming as a little bit explanation to Why the nine is is there and so we can see that this person is a little bit uh, trapped in fear or they are procrastinating uh, probably telling you what they need to tell you or what they really feel and think about you so this is usually old conditioning or um, a person's um, uh, experiences that makes uh, uh, this person don't want to go forward and and you know ho have the bad consequences uh, out of telling you the truth and there uh, might also be other people that have certain expectations on this person. So I called the uh, four archangels in the four corners of the world. And uh, here we can see the devil together with the nine of cups. Uh, showing that this person feels like they are uh, selfish or like they are, they are a bad person. Um, they are not worth uh, your love or they are not able to give you the love that you deserve. They might have some kind of, um, um, it can be a drug habit or some kind of addiction, um, porn addiction. It can be an addiction towards gambling or it can be, we can have very simple addictions. Uh, we can be addictive, for example, to other people, uh, their praise uh, for us. So we always do things that we will get praised for and not the things that we actually want to do with our soul. It can also be addictive to your phone or to... I don't know, candy, <laughs> so it's a lot of different things. So um, I call the six elements and here we have the page of wands and the devil. So they're definitely trying to work with this, but 
I guess they can be too much partying or too much fun or they just want to look at the fun, fun, fun part of life and not on the more serious aspect, maybe where you need to take responsibility, uh, tell the truth, uh, come down to earth, be a real person. Uh, so that can be a little bit of an issue uh, for them. Uh, so um, this uh, song, uh, Fun, 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 it came true. It's a song because I get a melody to the words. Uh, it came true for another sign as well. I have done Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Libra up till now. So it might be that you have something uh, to do with one of these signs. Uh, so I will put this song in the description box for you. It can reveal a little bit more what this person are feeling. They, with this song, they are a little bit desperate. Um, it's, um, it's an avoidance of responsibility and... Maybe thinking life is a little bit too hard and being a little bit self-destructive. Um, so this can be an issue too. Uh, the, the, the addiction that they have, it might be that they are addicted also to low energy. Sometimes we get a release of um, a lot of um, um, noradrenaline and adrenaline, adrenaline and other chemicals when we are in a sad state and we're thinking bad and negative thoughts and the body can become addicted to, do, to this as well, to kind of being the victim uh, or to look at yourself as the black sheep and, uh, and kind of um, wallowing in that. Uh, so, uh, Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles and some kind of um, misfortune here. Um, there might be an age difference between you or there's a difference between um, your maturity level or your social status um, because this comes as a little knight and here we have the queen of pentacles which I feel mostly to be you and then we have the five of cups. Um, maybe you wanted a child with them, they wanted a child with you or you had some dreams um, that um, got wasted. Uh, for one of these reasons I've told you, it's probably because of this person's um, um, problems with themselves. Um, particularly when it comes to other people's expectations uh, is what I'm feeling. So, hmm, um, we'll see. So, six elements. I called the, <laughs> these six elements to give us a clear view reading for my dear Gemini viewers. So I want my dear Gemini to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success uh, and to have uh, to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, the Five of Cups is, can be some kind of miscarriage of some sort, not a, always of a baby, but of a dream or the relationship itself that it didn't just it didn't work out, even if you had uh, good intentions because of um, the difficulties that's inside a person, the unhealed issues. Okay, so I'll just tune in to you and uh, the person most on your mind. And I want to see uh, what they are thinking about you and your relationship, uh, what they are feeling when it comes to you and the relationship, their love for you, and also the most likely action they will take when it comes to, when it comes to you. So uh, this is your, um, the, what the person, their most likely action towards you. And this is their feelings and their love for you there. And this is uh, where their mind are at, what they are thinking about you and the relationship. And we have the fool here. So they feel very unexperienced uh, on this part of their journey or in this certain section of their life, maybe when it comes to relationship. But they also have a lot of hope and um, a lot of um, um, kind of uh, um, the adventure lost and a loss to maybe sacrifice themselves for, for a greater cause. Uh, we see the white rose day in their mouth. So they have very good intentions, but they might not have the experience that it takes to, uh, to, to get this, this where, where it could go and become harmonious because if we are unexperienced, we will most likely screw up a lot. And that's okay because that's how we learn. And these are their feelings. And we have the Ace of Swords here. So the Fool together with Ace of Swords, it might be that they have some kind of game plan. So we're going to look in, into that. But 
Um, they are probably trying to rule over their heart. They're trying to not um, be so uh, naive. They feel uh, with a fool here that they are a little bit too, like they, their soul is uh, maybe wanting to jump into this and, and they are scared for uh, that this is not the best way to go about things. So they're trying to keep a tight control over uh, their heart here. Okay. So, and this is their mo most likely action. And we can see the Four of Cups, which is kind of non-action. So we can see that the Ace of Swords is preventing them from making this leap of faith uh, um, accordingly with the hope that they have for your relationship. And, um, well, there's a little hermit crab there that's hiding underneath this shell. Uh, so we'll see. Well, right now, uh, they are in, in this... Um, kind of cross path, the crossroad where they don't know uh, where to go and what's best for them, mainly because they are unexperienced. They are not as um, mature or self-assured or they don't trust themselves fully. Okay, uh, so thoughts. And we had the fool and here we also have the eight of wands. So uh, this is that want to rush against you and uh, tell you all the things that um, that they had like in their heart <laughs> and uh, uh, what they saw with you and uh, your soul connection uh, mainly. The eight of swords it might mean that they have reached out, they have made some kind of leap of faith in the past here uh, and uh, try to sort out some misunderstandings or some mistakes. And here we see the two of uh, pentacles. So, um, from a divine point of view, you're, you are moving forward always, but, and, but you fall on your face on a regular basis and you screw up and this is how you learn. So from a divine point of view, this is something good. From a human point of view, this will sometimes feel a little bit hopeless, like you're falling into the same pitfall uh, again and again, or your life always uh, becomes screwed up or something happens that you didn't... Um, put in account and and uh, it wrecks it all and so it's a little bit like uh, two steps forward three steps back <laughs> one step forward uh, one step back two steps forward one step back so uh, it's not really a, a great progress so i'm guessing the communication with you didn't go that well um, it didn't go as well as the fool hoped at least and uh, they probably ha didn't have the success with you that they they believed. They they were a little bit like big eyed, <laughs> blue eyed, and just took this leap of faith, trying to uh, communicate with you. And um, it didn't f fell, you know, like this, like a pancake. But it, it didn't have the kind of success that they hoped for either. And uh, here we have the Seven of Swords. So um, they, they don't think that you love them and they don't feel uh, worthy of love. They did this leap of faith and, and then they fell on their face in their uh, view on the divine point of view. They didn't. They were kind of successful. They learned something. Uh, but here is a, a lot of self-loathing and, and self-hatred and they can probably have become a little bit vicious with you. This is kind of in the now. So they have very grim thoughts about this situation right now. They, they have lost a lot of hope that they had uh, previous here in the past. Um, so and with the seven of swords, they can also lie. So if they didn't get the kind of excitement from you that they hoped, uh, they might act like this um, uh, the fox <laughs> when it's um, it was a, it's a story of a really cold winter where the fox was down on the ground and the the crows were sitting in the the tree and it's a tree that has um, red berries uh, i have forgotten the name in english uh, and it's a, a tree that's very lucky in in symbolism it's a very lucky uh, tree it's called rön in swedish <laughs> so um, and, and it was a cold winter and it was uh, hard to, for the fox to get food because the, uh, 
Uh, it was a crust on the snow that made made it hard for them to hunt. And the crows asked, uh, what, can I send down some berries to you? And uh, the fox that had the, its pride, uh, it said, no, thank you. I don't want your sour berries anyway. So I'm thinking this is a little bit what can have happened. Uh, maybe you put a halt to their... Um, their like a little bit childish vision of what could happen uh, but you gave them another offer and and they declined that with uh, a little bit of pride or spitefulness uh, and it was a lie because that wasn't really how they felt uh, this was how they felt this is a little bit into the future and we have a king of cups uh, so it seems like whatever went down between you two here, um, their love for you survives and even matures because of it. So I'm thinking you asked something out of them that they weren't ready to, to give you. And uh, you are actually, frankly, asking them to mature and they are doing so. So that's great news. And here we have the high priestess. So this, uh, this is you again. Uh, you have certain demands on them. If they are going to come into your paradise garden and share their life with you or moments with you, um, this doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a, a family member or a friend. And if we want to let this person in, they need to mature. Uh, you have put certain, you have put up certain standards. This is two uh, high priestess. This is two of pentacles. Uh, so you have asked them to mature and with the King of Cups, I think they are maturing and you are kind of watching over them if they are doing good or not. If they are doing good, they are being let in. If they are not doing good, uh, they are not being let in. Mm. So I'm, um, uh, I'm thinking this here. I'm hearing a song. It's, um, um, it's Dua Lipa. I know as much, but... Uh, it's new rules, okay, new rules. So you have put up some rules and probably um, you were ready to sacrifice the relationship and didn't really need it to continue at this phase because with the 2-2 two -two, you were holding your horses, you were holding back, you had self-control to not just uh, uh, make this leap of fate together with this person here because you didn't believe that they wouldn't um, fall back into old behaviors or to do some like screwing up of some sort. Uh, so you held back and, and you want them to come with a better offer. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, so the Dua Lipa, it's a little bit more like I will never see you again. I just need to keep you out. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's probably how you have felt here in the past and, and the, the thing that you had to do was to put uh, put them in the um, in the corner <laughs> okay so this is their feelings for you and the love that they have for you and we have a six of wands so again they were very enthusiastic here in the past and uh, thought that they could make win-win situations with you that they can create something really beautiful with you this is connected to the lovers card uh, they might have been uh, a little bit prideful because both the uh, Ace of Swords and Six of Wands is about winning. Um, so uh, they might have offered you something that they knew that you wanted, but in the same time, um, maybe they tried to fool you a little bit with that so that they would come in a favorable uh, position. Um, this is about win-win situation, but when it's situated with other winners card or the magician, for example, it, it shows a person having a little bit selfish motives. Uh, and here we have the eight of wands and no, eight of pentacles. <laughs> we have the eight of wands here uh, and the eight is the eternity symbol. You live the same nightmare over and over again. And for every, you know, uh, step forward, step back, mistake, success. Uh, back and forward like this you learn something and you become more and more skilled in the thing that you are doing and eventually you will have a diploma and you will be oh now I'm a professor in relationships now I know this I know exactly how to uh, to deal with my relationships but uh, this is an ongoing process and uh, for a human being it can be like living the same nightmare over and over again and you change small variables and you try, okay, so this time, uh, if I do this, will this house still fall down on my head or will something, 
uh, will it hold and um, and it falls down on your head and you try something else in the nightmare and it falls down on your head and you try something else and it falls down on your head and you try something else and it holds but then there's maybe another problem it starts leaking instead and you need to work on this problem so it's um, it's a person that relentlessly trying to fix the issue at hand and here it's like they want to build a bridge um, towards you uh, they are not super skilled in this but at least they are trying okay they're trying the best they can even if they have like a little bit pride and they're not maybe 100% uh, honest at all times but here they tried some honesty with the ace of swords the eight of wands it's um, honesty but um, it, it can be a little bit brutal <laughs> brutal uh, honesty maybe they didn't know how to have the certain finesse to um, they didn't know you is what I'm feeling so they didn't really know what you needed at this point here in the now we have the ace of cups so uh, I told you that if they were acting like they didn't need you that was a lie because I felt like they felt a lot of love for you and we can see this here with both the it's alpha and omega it's the ace of cups is the first uh, card in the uh, cups suite <laughs> and the king of cups is the last so um, we can say that they love you to the moon and back but um, here with the seven of swords and the ace of cups together if I read it like this it can be that they have decided also against their true will or their true soul um, like uh, longing uh, to maybe get a new relationship uh, because um, probably you have said no to them in the past here and they don't see any other option than to kind of find someone someone new and here we have the ten of wands so it's holding back of their love for you this great love that they have for you because now they have lost hope and they see no point and in the same time they are overall consumed uh, with that loving feeling maybe thinking of you a lot um, uh, constantly being reminded of you things like this but they are holding back they're not doing this what they did here with the leap of fate uh, they're just holding back holding back their natural expression uh, and they're trying to take a more uh, from their point of view logic decision in this situation and with the death uh, they feel like they can't live up to your expectations that you have on them here uh, that they need to change so much for you to be able to love them they feel like you don't love them uh, unconditionally that you need to have them in a certain kind of way it's not like that of course you have certain standards you want to be treated with respect but from their point of view they can't feel your feelings so they don't know how they hurt you or how they you know step on your toes and all these kind of things or how they uh, betray you in in different ways um, with with their actions so they just feel like they can't live up to you to your expectations but all the major arcana card it shows how the divine is um, interfering with our world uh, so uh, you are right and they will have to change <laughs> that's what i'm seeing but it's a you know it's a long story it's not going to happen like this uh, they had a lot of hope for being able to fix things here in the past but uh, they weren't able to and the ace of swords is blood sweat and tears victory at last uh, so it means that this will go on for quite some time they are on this grail journey to find themselves and uh, to find um, self-love and um, the ace of cups here it really means that they need to learn to love themselves before they can love uh, anyone else so they're probably um held back from being able to move forward in any kind of direction because the divine sees a, a great need for them to uh, go into themselves and heal themselves and have uh, an evolution happening to them there with the the snake being almost like dna uh, so they need to heal and it's not a quick process um, so they love you and they love you a lot and uh, they are very disappointed with you uh, because the demands you put on them uh, and they also disappointed with themselves they don't feel like they can live up to this that they will constantly be this screw up okay so the most likely actions here and we have the strength card and um, it's uh, act it's number eight so it's uh, cor correlated with the eight eight so we have eight 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 and the six the lovers there in the middle 
Uh, and it shows them they were trying to be very strong and tough and, you know, fix the situation to be the bigger person and take on a role of the hero. Uh, but they also had this kind of um, uh, thick uh, shell on them. So they weren't really revealing their vulnerability. And this is what you need to let them into your most vulnerable places. You need to, them to show vulnerability too. Uh, so uh, this was a, a little bit of an issue and they, they didn't really know that, that you to be in a relationship, we need to be open and vulnerable. And if one is and the other isn't, we can still have a relationship, but one will be very tormented and the other one will feel that the relationship is fine. Uh, both people need to be open and vulnerable for the relationship to be able to work. If one is closed down, um, the other one is going to suffer. Uh, so, And they don't know that. They haven't come to this epiphany just yet. Uh, and here we have the sun card. Uh, so again, they had a lot of hope for you, for the relationship. They wanted, um, they felt like you were soulmates uh, and they knew how to fix things. Uh, like they were also ready to, you know, make mistakes, but they hope to be able to work these mistakes out with you, you know, step by step. But probably you didn't have that kind of patience uh, with them. And here we have a little page of pentacles. So even if they, on a surface level, they might have acted a little bit cruel towards you or uh, maybe cold or icy or um, maybe they told something that they didn't need you or didn't want you but that's not true they're still working in the same direction um that they they want you that's their pure expression uh, with the ace of cups and the page of pentacles here but uh, i'm also feeling that they might want to try with someone else since you um, obviously had said uh, no at least for now because you had certain standards and here we have the hermit. Uh, so this is them needing to go through this hermit stage. So they're not going to be able to move on with you. They're not going to be able to move on with anyone else. Uh, they just need to uh, get deeper into the roots of their own being and understand themselves and why they're acting in certain ways and why they have certain defensive mechanism that makes them being unable to be truly vulnerable. Uh, they were kind of vulnerable here, but in the second that it didn't go their way, uh, they it backfired and they got back into their old behavior of um, uh, kind of lying. And here we have the two of wands. So now they are agreeing with you about um, uh, not moving forward with the relationship at this point. So now they are also putting up uh, uh, blocks or uh, <laughs> like decisions that are not going to make your relationship move forward. It just means that this will take a lot of time. Uh, that you can't have um, any resolution at this point because there's a lot of uh, maturity that needs to happen within this uh, person. And um, the two of wands, it's, um, uh, it's uh, both healthy and in the same time it can be perceived as um, uh, the person uh, kind of shunting you out. Uh, but for now, it's a, it's a necessity for this to be like this because they have nothing to offer you that you will be able to accept. You will uh, constantly be disappointed with them and they will constantly be disappointed with themselves. Uh, and this would just uh, fuel a negative spiral. So it's better for you to be apart uh, and heal on your different you know, ends. So I will see what they will want to tell you. Uh, I don't think you ever loved me because if you would have loved them as they loved you, they you would have taken them back here when when they were uh, trying for this. Not enough feelings to continue this relationship. Uh, I think this is what they feel from you. And this is maybe also what they have said here with the seven of swords with the sour berries. I can't ever forget. So I think they got very humiliated here when they had so big hopes uh, for the relationship and you didn't take them on. But uh, it's all in its uh, order because um, uh, you are not supposed to uh, to do that because that would have prevented them from uh, finding their own self-love. They can't use you as a crutch, like as a um, like something to lean on to. Um, 
to go by their day. They need to find this um, uh, within themselves. So what can we expect from them uh, in the future? Uh, there was a lack of attraction. So I don't feel that there's a lack of attraction from their end. We have the Eight of Wands, which is very intense. It's uh, like um, the sun's rays. And here we have the sun and the Six of Wands. So it's a lot of attraction here. But probably they felt like uh, they were not attractive enough. I projected family issues on our relationship. And um, um, what I'm feeling uh, is that they kind of forced you into their family drama and things that they should have really solved with their family they try to solve this with you and it's all right sometimes you don't have the family left uh, to solve things with but if we are not aware and we are trying to force the other person into this role that they don't want to play for example i know how you are i know you feel like this and no, you don't. Uh, it's while a, why a person says this can be because uh, they have this experience from the past, from another relationship, and they are just painting this relationship above your relationship, uh, m g not giving it the right, um, the right uh, uh, nurturing elements to build a strong relationship because they already have these presumptions of who you are, what you feel, what you think, what you're going to do next. And they are not really knowing you. They 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 put this image on you, that's um, um, that is um, not you. <laughs> okay, the grass was always greener elsewhere. This might have been the issue in the past uh, that they acted like they weren't really attracted towards you. They might also have had certain problems, maybe. In, if this is a romantic relationship in the bedroom area of some sort. Um, and I think they wanted to show themselves as uh, they had other options. And this was what made you feel disrespected. Uh, that even if they didn't really, you know, do these kind of things, they were really attracted to you. Maybe they didn't have other people. They kind of give, they were shining the light on this being the possibility and they wanted this to be perceived from your end. Uh, because I think they were trying to win some kind of old game from uh, their family, okay? Uh, they were trying to win over you in, in some way. And therefore, they needed to degrade you and to make you feel as worthless as they are feeling. You can see the colors on these cards that they feel ugh, about uh, themselves. And uh, they are frankly living their their childhood or their past over and over again in your relationship and this is not healthy. Uh, so the best for you is to not be um, like really together at this point. I will see. I was in my own head. Um, yes, uh, it's the same here with the projections that they were not living in reality. They were really living up in their own head. So if you felt like they were acting like a crazy person, uh, with um, how they saw you, how they saw the relationship, the things they said. Uh, it's because they didn't live in your reality together with you. They lived in a past reality together with someone else. And they were playing out this drama with you, this hopeless drama again and again. But here they are able to start to see it in some fresh, uh, beautiful perspective. It's just that they need this time to figure it out um, kind of on their own <laughs> so I'm hearing another song so it's uh, without you um, so they need to go on without you and you know and be Bonnie and Clyde without you so I will take an um, oracle card to from the romance angels to see what you are supposed to uh, do with all this engagement and in the reversed uh, so um, I feel like you are very you are very kind of hooked up on this person you want them to be um, the person that comes to you with the offering so that you can be you know lovers or friend or family forever uh, but right now this is not uh, possible it might be possible somewhere in the future where this person has grown but this can take ages uh, so uh, right now there's not going to be the commitment that you're searching for because this person isn't ready 
um, they need to be a singles person and uh, figure themselves out on their own uh, before they have anything like of value to to offer you okay uh, so my dear Gemini I hope this <laughs> helped I will soon show you the sneak peek of my Q&A video but first I want to say that if you like my content and want to see more videos like this on how to heal yourself and make yourself ready for the true romantic partner of yours or if you just want to work on spiritual, spiritual growth remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get a heads up when a new video like this is ready and waiting for you. Uh, you can also become a, a premium content member if you click the join button or follow the link in the description box but to be able to see the join button you need to have subscribed to my channel and uh, thank you also for being on this journey with me i'm truly grateful for my wonderful loving and supporting viewers and now it's time for the sneak peek of my q a video that i post for the my members uh, of my channels every monday it's not anything special with this video it's just a clip a random clip uh, so uh, I, I don't want you to have <laughs> too high expectations uh, so and this uh, kind of videos is for all the members uh, if you become an extended members you will also have these videos uh, a couple of days ahead with no ads and if you become a full member you will also have access to my mediumship training videos above these other uh, types of videos okay so uh, now uh, I say goodbye and talk soon see you soon and uh, watch this little clip now bye bye time of you uh, in the olden times it wasn't just one day as today we are celebrating Yule in Sweden on the 24th of December and most of the rest of the world is celebrating on the 25th uh, it also has to do with old traditions why it was the 21st, 24th for uh, uh, here up in the north. It has to do with how we counted time. We actually counted time. Uh, the new day started when the sun set in the evening. So for us, the 24th was actually the 25th at that time. So, um, but the real uh, Yule is. Uh, starting at midwinter solstice it's the, the time we should really start celebrating and uh, the time of yule it lasted for about a month 